what is up YouTube welcome back to the channel we got the Bush League action coming back at you it is a mid-season update week 8 of the Bush League and right away we got a user on user game Giants versus Arizona Saquon Barkley putting on the wheels taking it to the house later on in the game we got Arizona down big 49 to 8 and it's the Saquon Barkley show Whoop! get smoked ain't nobody catching that man as he has taken it all the way to the house that is a touchdown. New York would go on to win this game 98-8. to Not a good look for the Arizona Cardinals. Uh, kicking the field goal there, just for good measure. Switching on over here, New York Giants playing the Washington Redskins, getting some high-quality action in for you guys here today. Saquon taking it outside. Juke again, juke again, juke again. Ain't nobody can catch this dude. No awareness. Zero tackling here for the Washington Redskins. That is a touchdown for the league leading rusher stats coming here at the end of the video now heading on over to the falcon show uh some preseason action here uh ball over the middle isn't caught by Devonte freeman jacob easton the new man in town here for the atlanta falcons as you can see slayton taking over on the outside will jacob target him yes he will going deep balls tipped in the air but slayton catches it anyways and that is a touchdown High quality action here coming from the Bush League. Just straight plays. Ain't nobody want to talk about standings and stuff. We're just coming at you with the beautiful highlights. Jacob Easton dropping back to pass on the other side of the 50. He lets one rip to Slayton deep down the middle. Actually, that's Julio Jones on the reception. Touchdown for him. Julio and Slayton, arguably the best wide receiver tandem in the NFL. Here, week one, it's 21 all in Detroit. Clock has expired. Up top to Slayton, beating three dudes off the line for the touchdown with zero seconds left on the clock. They were on the two-yard line. That is a 93-yard touchdown. So they're on the seven. That was a 93-yard touchdown to win the game. Rookie kicker Jet Toner kick puts it through. Atlanta goes on to start the season 1-0. And we interrupt this Atlanta broadcast to bring you Arizona and Buffalo. Buffalo taking on Arizona and putting on a beating. Arizona missing tackles. Nick Chubb, the man, built like a machine. He came out of that Georgia Bulldog running back factory, and he takes it to the end zone for a touchdown for Buffalo. Now back to the action here in Atlanta. Atlanta taking on the LA Chargers, another user on user game. Uh, late here in the fourth quarter, Atlanta up 31-14. Looking good for them so far. Jacob Eason playing very well so far to start his rookie year. And he drops back to pass, finding Slayton, threading the needle through a tight window, and Slayton will take it all the way to the house for a touchdown. Absolutely phenomenal play there by the Atlanta to put the stamp on the victory for them. Now we got a great ball game here in Denver, Atlanta. Denver 7-7. Slayton on the corner route. That's another touchdown for him. Uh, he would go on to have many more throughout this season, as we may see here. Uh, later on in the game, though, Atlanta up 24 to 14. Jacob Eason dropping back to pass here. Play action, calling the shot play. Rolls right a little bit, fires it deep down the middle to Slayton. Nobody has better arm strength than Jacob Eason besides maybe a handful of names. Josh Allen, uh, Patrick Mahomes, just to name a few. But later on here in this Atlanta-Denver game, the score is still a difference of 10. Uh, Atlanta trying to do everything they can to keep the winning vibes alive. Eason rolls right, finds Slayton, who's got the one-on-one -on -one coverage, and he goes up and makes a tremendous grab. That would set up very well for the Falcons, and that would end up being the dagger in the hearts of Bronco fans everywhere. Kansas City and Atlanta facing again, this time week five of the regular season. After their preseason matchup, the NFL was like, hey, we want to see that game again because it was really good. So we got here... Jacob Eason calling all the shots here at the line of scrimmage, finding Julio Jones over the middle, and he will take it to the house. That is a touchdown for the Atlanta Falcons going up 14-7 at that point in the game. Julio Jones, a 54-yard touchdown to the house. Later on here, uh, ensuing possession here for the Kansas City Chiefs on defense here for the Falcons. Standard cover three procedure, Alua Cone. Baiting Patrick Mahomes, picking the ball off, and he will take that to the house. That is a touchdown for the Atlanta Falcons to go up 21-7. to That would be huge for them for the rest of the game, getting that cushion. And it's 
that time again, folks. The Arizona Cardinal highlight of the week. It's 4th and 19, down by 16. They get the single coverage matchup on the outside, and it's a great play for the Arizona Cardinals. Now back to our regularly scheduled action here in the Bush League. Games that are in contention, at least for the moment. Atlanta down by 3 to Minnesota on the defensive end. Kirk Cousins trying to bring Minnesota down the field and seal what could be a very nice victory for them at the end of the half. But he throws it over down the sideline. Allen is there to pick him off, baited him the whole way. That would set up Atlanta beautifully on the ensuing play with only 46 seconds left in the second half. On the very next play, Jacob Eason, he wastes no time. Getting Atlanta, shotgun formation, running it all his career at Washington. Finds Slayton on the corner route once again on the safety. That's a touchdown. No safety in the league is going to be able to cover that route by Darius Slayton. Later on here, Atlanta battling Seattle in Seattle. Seattle wearing the throwback green jerseys, looking absolutely beautiful right now. Uh, but Seattle driving the ball down the field, trying to do everything they can to take the lead. Tic Tac McKinley on the outside gets the strip sack. Isaiah Simmons, the rookie out of Clemson, gets the fumble. Nobody's catching him. He takes it to the house. Atlanta goes up 14 to three on the game. A beautiful play for the Atlanta defense. Later on, 14-3, still only 17 seconds left before halftime. Jacob Eason, he wants the ball in the end zone, though. He's wasting no time. He's got 17 seconds left and a timeout. That is plenty of time for him to get down the field. Rolling out right, he finds Calvin Ridley down the sideline, and he would take it all the way to the house. Touchdown, Atlanta to go up 21-3. That would prove to be the dagger as the defense held on for the rest of the way. Now we're just going to take a look at some of the season stats. Josh Allen and Jacob Eason are your top two QBs, followed closely by Justin Herbert, uh, Aaron Rodgers, and Jared Goff. Uh, some, some games are skewed here because not everybody has played the same amount of games. But Saquon Barkley, your leading rusher, followed by Nick Chubb, Todd Gurley, Dalvin Cook, and Melvin Gordon out for the Chargers. Karrion Johnson as well, getting some love here at the top of the leaderboards. Darius Slayton, your leading receiver, 10 touchdowns, over 1,000 yards already, over 50 receptions at the halfway mark of the season. He is going to have another electric year. Stephon Diggs and DK Metcalf down there for the Bills as well. Juju Smith-Schuster, Marquise Brown down here getting their love. On to the defensive side of things, Devin White is your leading tackler in the league. Interception-wise, Tremaine Edmonds and Devin White, 13 and 12 respectively, followed by players with normal stats Deion Jones down there as well Tyron Matthews Kendricks Weddle uh, but the two middle linebackers up top there with just outrageous numbers fumble recoveries taking a look at those as well some miscellaneous stats for you guys but uh, this is kind of the new format of the Bush League just a rapid fire highlight show extravaganza for you guys so I hope you guys all enjoyed it very much uh, stay tuned for more subscribe Leave a like, drop a comment down below who you're rooting for this season, and I hope you all have a great rest of your day.